I feel good. I feel good to be back too, so it's good. Just happened at the end of the shovel pass <clears> towards the end. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, honestly, I got to the sideline. Nothing was wrong. Just uh, and the New York called, and I pretty much was that. Are you surprised? I mean, a lot of times you have to miss a game when you end up in that protocol. Were you surprised to be clear by today? Um, no, I wasn't surprised. I, I, it was a long process. Um, even after the game, like even during the game, to go through the concussion protocol, I'd never been through it before, so. Um, I didn't think that I would even miss the rest of that game. You know, I thought I would be back that game, um, but the NFL decided that it was best that I didn't go back out there and go through the protocol first. Um, I mean, yeah, that's what we've been building up for, you know, and obviously. It's, it's what we've been trying to do. You know, we've been trying to just continue to get our playmakers the ball, obviously, um, and, and get in space. We're just getting more comfortable with the plays that we're, do, we're running and, you know, that we're executing, you know. That's it. I you made a big deal when we talked to him this week about Odell being downfield, blocking for you, and running down with you on a couple of long plays you had. I'm sure you've seen something, seen that from him before. Yeah. But what, how does that speak to kind of who he is as a teammate? That, you know, even if you're not getting the ball, but you're still trying to contribute. Yeah, no, I mean, that's the big part of, you know, who he is and obviously what he brings to, to, to the game. You know, either way, he's going to make an impact, you know, and whether the ball is in his hands or not. And, you know, I know this is kind of old now, but we haven't had a chance to ask him, but uh, what did you think of the Ravens? You know, they put out a video trying to say that Marvin Humphrey definitely did not what do you think about what happened on that and them doing that? Um, I, I, don't, I don't really have any, any thoughts about it, you know. I think the biggest thing for us is just protect our guys. Um, obviously, we don't want to get penalties, um, but, you know, we're going to protect our guys. Freddie was saying he's not worried about the quarterbacks being physical because he can be physical right back. Right. When you have, when that happens to you in a game, do you know right away if a team is going to, like, um, sometimes, you know, sometimes, most times, you know, teams go in with the plan thinking that, that that'll throw guys off their game or um, that's a way to slow them down. You know, I think, you know, for us, just got to continue to understand, like, teams are going to try that, try those things, uh, you know, whether it's after the play, during the play, whatever it is. And, you know, we got to have a plan, you know, and I think when you have a plan and, um, and you always on the, the, the initiative, like you take an initiative, you know, and being a guy that's being more physical, being a guy that's, you know, doing whatever you need to do to make sure that this guy leave, you know, leaves me alone, you know what I mean? <laughs> you had a career high receiving yards, yeah. not even a full three quarters. How much fun was it to get that kind of involvement to break up those big games? Uh, it was good. It was good. I mean, um, you know, we just executed, found ways to find ways to make plays. You know, guys blocked, guys, you know, caught the ball and, you know, they couldn't key in on, on one guy and, you know, guys made plays when they came to him. Did you guys always talk about being really close on obviously we haven't talked about it, diving for the fire line? Yeah. The other one, it looked like you gained your balance and then you did it. Like what 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 went through your mind on that? The most unathletic play ever in my career, <laughs> I promise. Uh, I, I wish I, I wish I had that one back, honestly. But you know, it was a good play. It put us in, um, it gave us an opportunity to get some points right before halftime. We kicked the field goal. I want to say so. It's good. When you broke the first tag, you thought did you think you were gone? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I thought if I ever could have got my balance, I'm probably, I'm still falling. <laughs> I know. I mean, yeah, but at the end of the day, I mean, I wish I could have stood straight up at some point to be able to like start running again. You know, I just never really started running. I just was falling, a long fall. It looked like Ricky Seals Jones was trying to like pick Put, you up, and, and he actually tripped me down. Straight. Yeah, exactly. That's what I said. He don't want to admit it, but I said the same thing. I think you guys lead the team. In tackles, in tackles, tackles. yeah, teammates. that's probably true. Hey, Jarvis, how good is it to have the full complement of wideouts back? It's like the first time you guys have been at full speed all year. Yeah, it's good, it's good. You know, obviously, you know, getting Haig back this week, getting Callaway back, um, it, it's good. You know, what those guys bring to the game, the element, obviously we know Haig has been making plays, Callaway has definitely made plays, he, offense, special teams, so it's going to be good to see um, what those guys bring to the game as well. Do you sense any hunger in Callaway to get back after 
Out yeah. And yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, he's been through a lot, man. You know, he's been through a lot. Um, he's battled through injuries as well, you know. Um, and I think, you know, this is his opportunity to, you know, all the hard work that he put in the offseason to really come up and step up for the team. So we're excited to see what he's going to do this week as well for the rest of the season. You guys always talk about stacking games. So how do you, you know, follow up what you did? Baltimore against a pretty good San Francisco team. Yeah, I mean, again, I think our main focus always is going to be on us. You know, I think we got to continue to not hurt ourselves with penalties, stay ahead of the chains, and, and execute, you know, scoring the red zone as well. You know, three, six, whatever it is. Obviously, we want six, but, you know, we take points when we can get them. I think that that's the biggest thing for us um, for the rest of the year, not just this game, for the rest of the year. That was the first game since you told Freddie that, Right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, again, I, I, I sense and feel the momentum. And again, we talked about leadership and about the guys that step up. Um, you know, the things that everybody doesn't see. You know, I, I kind of mentioned that last week, and you know, that's continuing to grow. And um, the relationship building that we that we got going on in here is, is is amazing. You know, and a lot of times. You know, everybody will tell you it starts in the locker room. You know, and that doesn't not the coaches or the plays. It starts in the locker room. You know, and these guys, we hold each other to a high standard and hold each other accountable. And I see that. I saw that happening. You know, so I think we're on the right track. So can all LSU wideouts throw the ball seven yards? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Who's got the better arm between you two? Uh, we both could throw it. You know, we both could throw it. Uh. uh I don't know. I don't know. He's, he's thrown more touchdowns than I have, so maybe him. I guess him for right now. Are you looking forward to catching your first touchdown pass from him? Absolutely. Absolutely. Do you think that you guys found an identity on offense in Baltimore? Um, you know, I think, you know, I think with that, we, we, we still establishing one. You know, I think, you know, throughout different weeks, we got to play different, <laughs> different type of, different styles of ball, you know. Um, and I think when we can adapt to, you know, what, whatever it is that we need to do that week to win, I think then, you know, at that point we'll have a, you know, a true identity. But again, you know, we want to run the football. We want to get the ball in our playmaker's hands. Like, that's just simple. So if I guess if that is our identity, then that is our identity. But, you know, as far as just scheme and schematic wise, you know, we want to do whatever it's going to take to win. Maybe I know. At a basic level, but there's no exactly, exactly, exactly. I know Antonio was allowed to be around during his suspension. Did you, did you spend time with him and help him kind of get through that? Four week period. Yeah, a lot of the, a lot of uh, that process was kind of like, um, you know, we were on be on the field and he'll come out and do his workouts and things like that. So we didn't really um, get the opportunity to spend much time um, talking inside of the building, but outside of the building, talking, texting, calling, hanging out, you know, those things, little things like that. Obviously, again, you know, he's going through a time that he's going through, you know, to be able to, you know, obviously still just be there for him when it for whatever he needs. Do you help Odell when he, you know, when he is getting grabbed and held? Um, you know, a little bit of both. You know, I think he's he's been through through you know a lot of games that that's kind of been that way. You know, and I think he's learned from them, um, and he's also learned how to come up with a plan um, to be able to adapt in those situations. So um, I talked to him a little bit, but you know, I, as well too. You know, just let him play and let him do what he do. Hey, Jarvis, as a team, why do you think you guys have found so much early success winning games on the road? Um. Man, I just again go back to I just go back to executing, executing, trusting each other, you know, um, and, and finding ways to win on the road is something that it, it, it was what builds teams. You know, you you already against adversity, you on the road, you know, um, so I think for us it's something that we want to continue to build on, continue to establish that we can win on the road, and then obviously come back home and you know show that we can win home. You know, I don't think we've won a home game. Have we won a home game yet? No, we haven't won a home game yet. So, you know, we got we to gotta protect on, on all fronts, you know, so that's the plan.